What's going on, everybody? You are now tuned into another episode of Everyday Heroes, and we got Real Name Win, JB Written, and Joe Sia on the show. And before we get into anything, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Everyday Heroes. We're ranked on Google. You can Google us. You can go ahead and look us up on Spotify, iTunes, all the streaming platforms. We here, me in the mix. All right. So before we get into our topic, JB. How was your week? How you been doing? Week is good, man. Appreciate you for asking. Great week, great week. We're still in coronavirus, so just stay in quarantine, man. Stay in quarantine. Got my black mask, bro. Got my black mask. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, and Josiah, welcome to the show. How you been? How was your week then? I'm cooling, man. Just again, like what he said, COVID 19 got us all stressed out, man. I'm tired of these damn masks. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Can't go nowhere for, without them. Shit. All right, all right. And for me, I've just been chewing or chilling, chilling, doing my thing. Um, and let's go ahead and get into it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things going on in this world. And now we're going to talk about the Confederacy of America, mm. right? So there's a lot of things in America that represents the Confederacy, which is, you know, uh, you know, which represents like slavery and things like that in America. And lately they've been tearing down statues. Uh, the bust of Robert Lee, um, Athens Confederate Monument. Um, they tore down the, the second largest Confederate flag out here in Brandon in Florida. Um, mm. So there's been a whole lot of this things going on. So let's just, let's get into, you know, what we think about this and, 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 and let's go ahead and open the discussion. So let's start with you, JB. You know, how do you feel about these 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 flags being burned, um, these statues being torn down, the Confederacy of America? What do you think? <laughs> Good fucking job, tear them things down, bro. Uh, it's it's exciting, you know what I'm saying. I feel like some people are waking up and seeing what that flag really means. Uh, some people are not, you know. Before we gonna have to tear it down, it's gonna be another World War Three because they really love that flag. They really uh, support it. You know, they really stand for it. And I'm not saying white or black because I know some maybe some black people like it too. I don't understand it, uh, but you know, it means I don't understand. You know, it was a battle back in the day between white and black, uh, between each other, not even white and black. It was a battle between each other. And all of a sudden, you know, one side loses, which is the Confederacy, and they still support it, you know. So I don't understand it, but, you know, this is what we come to. So I'm proud that everybody's taking it down, happy about it. You know what I mean? And that's just how I feel, you know. So you know, I'm going to let it go around the table. I want to see how everybody feel, man. How they- all right. All right, well, go, go ahead, go ahead, uh, Josiah. Uh, you know, how you feel about this? I mean, I feel like it's about damn time, man. I mean, shit, it, it just was, my whole thing is, how can you hold on to something that offends so many people, right? So we can argue, you know, left and right of, if the history on they keep saying that it's, it's more prideful than anything and it doesn't represent what we think that it represents. But I mean, if a mass majority of people is offended by, I mean, if you're really for the people, just take it down. It's just a flag, right? So I just feel like, you know, if we're going to do a flag, one flag, let's do the American flag. We already got that one. Why we got to make these individual flags or whatever the case may be? Because if we go to fly black panther flags and, and, and black power and we go to fly that high, the whole nation will be offended. So, you know, I feel like let's 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 make it right let's make it equal and as far as the statues they know what the, they know what the history is behind them things man and it ain't no shock that them things getting snatched down man they know what it is i don't mm. know why they shocked man there's a lot of racial bull crap that come behind those statues man and right. the fact that people are upset that they're being pulled down just shows you the true identity of this country man so then my thoughts on it you know you said- it's crazy to- Go ahead. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. It, it, it's, it's crazy to me how how you know white supremacists they just love to sweep sweep things under the rugs. You know, it, mm. it go, it's deep. It's so deep rooted here that no you know it's even in our, it's even taught in our history books to not even acknowledge those kind of things. I mean, if you look if you look back down to the the history books and really think about it, the history books you've been given they're showing mm. pictures of 
MLK and everything in black and white to make it seem like it's that long ago, knowing damn right. well they had color print back then. Right. You know, um, so like everybody said, I'm along with you guys, you know, it's about damn time. I don't know why they they, they want to hold on to this to this thing so so much and so dearly mm. that, you know, like like Josiah said, offend so many people. I mean, if you look at about, if you think about it, from what I understand, Germany doesn't keep Nazi flags. Right. And they don't keep they don't keep any uh, statues of Hitler too. Hello. You know, so why 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 is why is the the you know the white supremacy in America is so deep rooted that it has to be rebuilt? Re, you know, we have to learn to, we have to learn to to unlearn what we've been taught mm. here. I got a question, man. Yeah. Um, how far do we go? Like, you know, what I'm saying like. We have to rename the airports. Yeah, I mean airports, military bases. Yeah. Um, you know, military bases is built off of uh, Confederate people. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, just look at our money. You know, what I mean, yep. by yep. itself. You know, um, you know, how far do we go? How far do we want to go as Black people? I feel you know like what I, mean? I feel like just to, you know chime in to your question. I feel like we like one of the only races of people that don't really band together. As a whole, you know, I feel like, well, you want to hit the man that is through 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 money and finances, because I feel like if we all stuck together and just shop black owned businesses and we stop supporting these other brands and these other, you know, white owned brands or or whatever the case may be, it'll show them the power that we really have because we're what 15 percent of the nation, I believe, or somewhere around there, 10, 11, 12, maybe 15 percent of. The entire uh, United States, I think, black people make up. Well, That's, well, they say know, they say. Well, one second, they say thirteen percent, but I believe 13. it's more like twenty. I believe it's more like twenty twenty five percent. But go ahead. No doubt. So just imagine if we all just said, you know what, we're done shopping at these places. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna build Black Wall Street back up because that's another that's another case in point. Yeah. yeah. When 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 you know when white folks or Caucasian, if you will, when they when they protested, they burnt down Black Wall Street. And nobody care about that. Mm-hmm. But as soon as soon as you know, some people from the not not the whole Black Lives Matter movement, but some people who who just you know the cup that spilled over when they got really pissed, you know, and they started protesting and they started being violent, and they started looting and rioting and doing all this. All of a sudden, they wild animals. They're wild, and this is just this is like so bad. But they they burnt down all the Black Wall Street. I know y'all heard about that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, LeBron James is making a whole documentary about that now. He's made a point, man. Oh, he is? Yes, he yeah. is. That's yeah. why he's oh, a goat. That. But that's a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother topic. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm this. I have a problem, a, a small problem with the Black Lives Matter movement. Talk to me. I just don't like how anybody can join. Like how anybody can be it. You know what I'm saying? We don't, I understand the movement. But I feel like anybody can go out there and just say Black Lives Matter. What no is, doubt. you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, where are you from? Where is your heart at with this? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I was looking in the protest in Georgia. Mm. A lot of them people that was protesting was like either white or kids. And do, are, do the kids really understand what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Mm. They was kids, but they was like saying, fuck you, bitch, da 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 you know what I'm saying? Black Lives Matter, but are they representing it right? You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, think about the KKK organization. You can't just, any even a white person can't just walk up there and say, I'm part of the KKK. You know mm. what I'm saying? You got to prove and do something, you know, to be a part. So I feel like the Black Lives Matter movement should be some type of uh, structured, more, a little bit more structured. And, and I just want to, you know, know what you think about that. You know I mean, oh, go ahead. Yeah, what, go what, ahead, what, man. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I I, I kind of agree. I mean, I feel like what you're speaking of is like the Black Panther Party. Yeah. That that was like that was like the Black KKK in a sense. People who just revolted and, 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 and went against all of that racism and, and standing up for like true Black power. Um, mm-hmm. I just feel like in, in the modern times, I feel like the Black Lives Matter movement, um, I feel like it's to me personally. I feel like it's it's beneficial to have multiple races in the Black Lives Matter because now when you go from having one race or one small group of people to like a majority of people, because can't nobody tell the white man 
more than another white man who's standing it, with somebody who's black or whatever the case may be. But that brings me to the point you mentioned. Who's getting paid off this? Uh, you know you like, okay, like, you know, white people are. That's what I'm saying. They're getting paid off of our our looting and our rioting and our, you know, the, 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 the you know, the, they catching it on social media. They getting paid off of this. You know what yeah. I mean? The money's not really smart to us. You know what I mean? I understand. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I no, mean, from what I, from what I understand, you know, this whole Black Lives thing has some ties with the Clintons or something like that. And uh, if you look it up on, uh, I think I showed JB this thing one time, uh, this website one time. I can't remember the name of it. If I, if I could think of it, I put it in, in the description. But you can fact check any uh, donation organization. And when you fact check, you know, who owns these organizations, they're white people. They're not black people. Mm. And um, so a lot of these donations and stuff are going to white people. And they're not really going towards the cause. So, you and know. And that's another thing. Uh -huh. That's another thing I never understood about protesting. Like, it seems to me that whenever somebody's in uproar about something, there's always a charity or some type of GoFundMe or some type of. That's uh, bullshit, some type right? Of, you know what I mean? Uh, there's always that mm -hmm. basket where people got to throw their money into. It's like a yeah. black hole because nobody ever can trace that money and where it goes. I just don't understand why it always result why it always resorts to we having to pay money towards something. If you're for if you're for Black Lives Matter, donate here, huh? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, what's the, what, if I donate here, what is, is this going to be the solution to our problems to police brutality or whatever the case may be? It just always struck me as weird that people always come up off these, uh, you know, these hate money, and, and Money is temporary, bro. You know what I mean? Up. It's temporary, and that's why they're not afraid to beat us up. You know what I mean? Think about the, uh, you know, the things that's happened in the past. They they put people in jail, or they beat you up and just give you money and say, "Be happy." Think about Rodney King. They mm. beat his ass. <laughs> you know no doubt, saying? and it was live. And, and they gave him a whole bunch of money, but he died pretty much broke. You know what I'm saying? Like because money is temporary. You know what I mean? And I think the only thing that's going to change things is 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 scare, you know, like violence. You know what I mean? Is you know, I hate to see it. You know what I mean? I hate to see war, but that's the only thing like plus money. I feel like black folk got a limit. I think on, mm -hmm. I hate to say it. I really do hate to say it, but I feel like black folks, my people, our people, I feel like we have a limit to to how far we're willing to take it. I feel like we'll we'll march We'll burn some stuff down. We'll, you know, whatever. And I think that I really feel like that's as far as we'll take it. But on the white, on the white side of things, I feel like they'll take it all the way. Mm, yeah. I feel like if it was a civil war, I feel like they'll load up them AKs, them yeah. M16s, and I feel like they'll slaughter in the middle of the street. Yeah. And that's the issue. And I'm not trying to, you know, advocate for violence. Okay. I'm not trying to declare violence or we want a civil war, but it's like. Like the Black Panther Party, they they wasn't just posting up with guns, man. They was really about that action. That's why yeah. they got things done. Yeah, because they went to they went to the Congress highs and with guns and stuff. They was ready. I feel yeah. like with the Black Lives Matter movement, we just they don't fear it. That's we why it's not working. Have, well, we I, I ain't gonna say that. I feel like they do fear it because they're changing a lot of things going around. You know what I'm saying? They're mm. they're allowing us to to take down these statues. They fear it to you try to saying? control. You know, not yeah, exactly. They fear it, and they're trying to control it the best way they can without, mm -hmm. without, you know, their people, which is I'm talking about white folks, mm -hmm. without their people actually getting too upset about it. You know, I'm mm -hmm. talking about you know white supremacists. Um, and and to, and to to go back to what you're saying, like you know, like the white supremacists and stuff, they'll they'll slaughter and stuff like that. I agree with you, but yeah, just understand are. why they they feel so comfortable doing that. Look at who mm -hmm. we have in the presidency. You know what I'm saying? Right. Somebody that supports white supremacy. So they're protected. You know what I'm saying? If we had a president or we, if we had a, a law enforcement that protected us, we wouldn't fear anything. I wouldn't fear a damn thing. But mm. a lot of black people have a limit because they don't, there's already so many of us, you know, and they don't want to risk being another, you know, lost black father. They don't want to risk, so. you know, go ahead. I think some white people are afraid, bro. Mm-hmm. I think some of them, not yeah. white supremacy, but the the one that's stuck in the middle class, they don't really know if they want to be with the supremacy side or they want to be with the Black Lives Matter side. 
You know what I mean? But, but just but think I, about. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just think about. I think about all the way like what we learned about slavery. Mm. Just think about all the slaves that they had, and they had a, a certain level of control to where it was like it was one slave. This what this this what I never understood about it, right? It was one white man and his family on a plantation, and it was like 40, 50 slaves. And we're talking about like the most fit people on the planet. We're talking about like, mm -hmm. like physically fit specimens. Mm -hmm. But that one white man had a certain level of control. The man had one whip and probably one gun. And we ain't talking AR-50. We ain't talking about like AK-47s and all that. We're talking about like guns that probably shoot one at a time. Look, 22 hunting rifle. You know what I mean? 22 caliber hunting rifle type thing. So that one white man controls so many black people. And it's just like, it's a mental thing. I feel like it's a mental thing because if they mm -hmm. wanted to, they could have overtook that guy. Any, mm -hmm. even the so-called house, you know, uh, black folks mm -hmm. that was in the house at any moment they could have made a move. But it's a mental thing. So now you go into yep. modern times. I feel like it's the same thing. I feel like they, they, they feel like yes, there's a lot of black people. Yes, mm -hmm. they all stuck together. They do this, but they're bank, they're betting, they're betting people now. They're betting people. They're betting on the fact that we will never stick together because we just can't get it right. And all we got to do, all we got to do is throw a little money out there. That's it. Mm. That's it. Somebody going to take that other. dollar. Yeah, Somebody going to take that money. Yeah. 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 And stop and, killing each other. You're right. Yep. Mm. So uh, yeah. any final thoughts on this or anything? We're about to wrap up the show. JB, any final thoughts? Yeah, man, I'm 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 gonna say this: the black dollar. How powerful is the black dollar in America? One point two or one point six trillion. Yeah, so we 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 ain't broke out here, bro. <laughs> we ain't broke out here. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't, we weren't right. bro. Like yes, we ain't sir. broke out here. I think about all the athletes in the world, man. You you. And one thing, you know, Josiah said, we stick together. We've been together. We band together. Shit gonna change. Plus a little violence. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. But just plus a little violence, man. Just a little violence. Just a little bit. <laughs> but that's all my final. All right. I'm close. All right. Josiah, you got any uh, any final comments, man? My final comments on it, man. I just feel like it got to get worse before it get better. And I feel like at the end of the day, that whole racism thing is, is starting to weed its way out. I, I honestly feel that way. Because you look at now versus back then, man. People can't ignore change. It may not be the change that we want, but it ain't as racist as it was. And even if you're a closeted racist, mm -hmm. at least you ain't out bolstering it like it was back in the day where you walk down the road, they spit on you. That's scary, though. It, it's, it's scary. Closeted racists are real. Closeted racist people is real scary, but I mean, it just shows something has changed to where they feel like I can't be openly racist no more. I gotta, gotta move a certain way. So I feel like we're, in a, we, we, we're going in the right direction. We just got a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. Um, I'm I'm gonna you know jump off four things. Um, I've lost a few friends uh, due to this uh, whole situation with George Floyd, and um, it's caused some personal issues in my life as well. Um, you know, and I, you know, I I've been talking. We, me and J, JB and I've been talking about this for over a year now, on the record, all right, on the books. You know, we've been talking right. about this stuff many many moons ago. Um, Before George. You know, way before George Floyd, way before anything. So if anybody got something to say about that, you know what I'm saying, they can do, you know what, you know what I'm saying. Um, the next thing is, uh, you know, let's start showing our $1.6 trillion worth. Mm. Um, bank Black. So uh, I opened a bank account at One United Bank. Uh, you can open them up online. You can you got like eight different cards you can pick from. I picked the King card, and I'm banking black, and I switch. I'm switching my funds and everything to Black Owned Bank. If you look up the Black Owned Bank, this Black Owned Bank is is actually is doing a lot better than a lot of these white owned banks, and that's the mm. fact. Um, so it's got like over seven seven hundred million dollars in assets, which is pretty good. Mm. Um, the next thing I want to say is, uh, you know, let's stop killing each other. You know what I'm saying? We got to stick together and really. And really do our thing out here and really support and really show what we're worth. And um, the next thing, you know, uh, check out this story. Look it up on YouTube. It's called Devil's Punch Bowl. And uh, learn some history about America and, 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 and how really and how deep, you know, holding on to this Confederacy really means to them. Look up Devil's Punch Bowl if you haven't seen that before. And that's my last comment.
factor. All right. So, um, that's a good show. Enjoyed the show. Great comments, yeah. uh, Josiah. Great stuff, JB. Um, I always love talking about these things with you guys. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the show. This is Everyday Heroes, and we are signing out. Peace.